Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Talsma, CRM Product Manager here at Interdyne BMI, and today I have a video on Editable Grids in Dynamics 365. Now this is brand new functionality with the newest version of Dynamics 365, and I'm very excited to bring this to you. This is something that the community has been looking for for a long time. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at what our agenda is for today. So for this video, I'm going to be going over first what are Editable Grids, then we'll go to how do I enable Editable Grids, and finally, we'll talk about how do I enable editable grids for a subgrid. And the reason why I have that separated out is it is activated at a different spot, but both very cool pieces of functionality. So with that, let's move to our first topic for today, which is what are editable grids? Editable grids provide you with the ability to efficiently edit records inline from directly within a view or a subgrid. And to articulate where we're going, let's take a look at where we've been. Here you can see my demo environment. I have my contact entity open. I have not enabled editable grids for within my contact entity yet. If I click on email or business phone here for this record, Jim Glenn, you can see that I'm not able to make any changes to it. I would have to open the record up, make my changes, save it, and back out to make my change. I have, however, made my change to the account entities to allow editable grids. So here, for example, if I know that a datum has a different phone number, I can go ahead and I can backspace this out and say I know that this is their new phone number, I can make changes to their address should I choose to. Um, those are some of the things that you can do. So very quickly editing, not having to open the records. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to set this up for an entity. So for this example, I'm going to use the opportunity entity. I have not yet set edible grids up within my opportunity entity. And let's say, for example, I want to be able to add the probability to all of my opportunity records here. I would have to open every single one of these up individually, make my change, close it out, and go down the line. Very tedious and something that any kind of salesperson or customer service person would not want to do. So our solution is Edible Grids. With that, I can go ahead and navigate to my settings, and then to my customizations, and then customize the system. From within here, I'm going to navigate to the Opportunity Entity and turn that control on. So I'm going to expand Entities, scroll down, open up opportunities and then once that loads I will be able to add the editable grid control so here under controls I can simply click add control editable grid and add and now all I'm gonna do I'm gonna click web and then I'm gonna click save and what I've done here is enabled editable grids for the web you can access Dynamics 365 from the web phone or tablet. However, for this video, obviously all we're using is the web-based version. So now I've saved and this is refreshed. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click publish. And then we should see my changes into the system. So now I should be able to navigate to my opportunity entity and see that those subgrids are in fact in place, which I can see that they are. So now I'm going to be able to easily go down the line and put in my probability here. And that's all there is to it. So that is working within edible grids within a view. So next let's look at working in edible grids within a subgrid. So for this video, I've already set up an opportunity subgrid within the account form. And from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn on editable grids for that subgrid. So I'm going to go ahead and just navigate to one of my accounts here. And we'll scroll down and we'll see that this subgrid is not editable at this time. So I can simply go to my form. And when this loads, I'm going to scroll down to my subgrid. Click that open to get the properties, and then I'm going to add that same control that I added previously for the view. So I'm scrolling down, double clicking to open up the, for, or the subgrid properties, clicking on controls, add control, editable grid, add, and again I'm going to have to select this web to make sure that it sticks there. So now that we have that in place, click save and then we're going to publish and now we should be able to navigate back to our account press F5 to refresh and we should 
see when this refreshes that our opportunity subgrid is now editable. And here it comes, scroll down, and there you go. You can now see that it is editable. I can change my probability again. I can change my drop downs for my rating, so on and so forth. So with that, that's the end of my presentation today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about this video or Interdyne BMI, feel free to go to our website, interdynebmi.com. Check out Let's Talk CRM. We post blogs, videos, etc. all CRM specific content there. If you want to be kept up to date for when I release my newest videos, subscribe to us on YouTube and feel free to follow me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.